So Jodie, you're involved with greening the hospital at Westmead Children's Hospital. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about how that started and why you decided to take that on? Sure. Yeah, so I started working there as an SRMO and thought it would be great to talk about sustainability and talk about environmental issues at the hospital. So I started off by talking to a friend um, who is another was a registrar, a junior registrar there, and together we thought, okay, this is a, a good goal. Let's set about trying to green the hospital. It's easy for people to understand. It's sort of the starting off of talking about environment issues without being too outside the comfort zone. So that's why we started. Yeah, and what kind of stuff did you notice around the hospital? Was there much they were doing already to try and improve their sustainability or? Yeah, so there was quite a fair bit actually happening. So they had very good recycling systems, paper mm. recycling. In theatres, actually, there was an anaesthetist who happened to be a DA member mm. who'd done a huge amount of stuff like separating out PVC recycling and trying to minimise waste in the in, in the theatre. But he'd already done his own project and done a lot of work himself. I think he'd even set up a theatre sustainability group. So there was different pockets of stuff happening, but what we wanted to do was take this to the CEO and make it a more kind of a deliberate hospital policy mm -hmm. and um, something that was, I guess, sustainable from a long term so it wouldn't just fizzle out when we left yep. as well. Great. And so how did you get started? Um, so like I said, I, I started off talk, just talking to a friend mm -hmm. who um, was kind of interested in the same thing. Yep. And then we started off again talking to a few other junior doctors. Um, but then we thought the best way is to talk to the CEO and get get them to sign up to Global Green Healthy Hospitals, which is a free network um, of hospitals around the world. So what we did, we set up, we had a um, proposal, which was very straightforward, just a about why it's important to green hospitals. Um, and then we said we wanted to set up, get him to sign up to Global Green Healthy Hospitals and also um, set up a formal sustainability working group mm -hmm. in the hospital structure. Um, so we went around to different heads of department and people we thought, who had influence. Yep. Um, we talked to them individually and across the board everyone was super supportive and didn't need much convincing at all. That kind of bolstered our confidence and then we went to the CEO, asked for a meeting. He was super enthusiastic as well. He mm -hmm. again didn't need any convincing that this was an important issue mm -hmm. and was really grateful for us actually raising it. Um, so we came to him with this document and we've already talked to these heads of department. We think this is important. We've got the backup. What, what can you do about it? Yeah, great. And so what were some of the outcomes from that? Um, so he gave us the go-ahead to organise a staff forum, which was an open space forum, which was basically a, a chance for staff who were interested in any aspect of sustainability to come together and talk about ideas, basically. It was a very um, cool thing and something I didn't think would work in a hospital setting, but worked amazingly. So we got this forum together. Um, heaps of ideas were generated then. That as part of this as well, he he gave us a go ahead for forming a, a formal sustainability group and he also came up with the idea of hiring a sustainability officer mm. which was really the most beneficial thing of the whole exercise yeah. um, and something we didn't even initially ask for because we thought it would be too much of a big thing to ask for mm. but he wanted to develop a st sustainability plan and knew that that was the best way to go about it. Mm -hmm. um, so now there's still a sustainability officer working in the hospital um, and she's done a whole lot more work and a lot of her work has come from the ideas generated by this first forum mm -hmm. um, and there's also a, still the, the sustainability working group which is working on some of these ideas and it's grown to 40 people or so mm -hmm. and neither me or the other doctor are particularly involved anymore but it's the sort of ball has rolled and transformed yeah. into something else. Awesome. And what do you think are some of the most important points for people that want to take on something like this at their hospital? So firstly, um, talking to friends, getting a few like-minded colleagues so you don't feel like you're all alone. Mm. That is most important. Um, and for us, the biggest barrier was our thinking that other people were interested. But in reality, once we actually worked up the courage to start talking to these heads of department and drafting something, Everyone thought it was a great idea and we, was really grateful that we raised it. So mm. the biggest barrier was our own kind of confidence. And I guess the, the more people we talked to, we just started off by very informally asking these people we knew as clinicians already um, and then getting getting more confidence and then approaching different people. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that was probably the biggest thing. And once you start the process, 
and realise that the support there it gives you much more confidence to keep on going. Yeah. As well. Awesome. So, what kind of resources did you access to support you during this whole journey? Um, yeah. So we used the Global Green Healthy Hospitals website, which has heaps of different resources and case studies, and you can read about hospitals like in Melbourne, for example, who've signed up, so you can get a bit of inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, and they also have a ten point agenda, so it gives you a start and a, something to start talking about. Because when I started, I had no idea about sustainability, mm -hmm. um, so it's a bit of a yeah, it gave, gave us the resources. Also, um, Doctors for the Environment um, had it had some old resources back when we were doing it, but it's got some new updated resources like Greening Hospital Guide. Um, but really, it's not something you need to know a lot about to start off with. Mm. You really just need to think that this is an important issue um, because it's basically affecting the environment, which is affecting health, and it should be health's core business to think about sustainability. So you, you just need to start with a passion and there's resources out there mm. and start talking to people.